Hello y'all and welcome back survivors. We are late in the game, back in Stranded Deep, and we got one hell of an update for us. So if it has been a few days, you're going to notice that this is completely different. We got a brand new screen for the PC version of Stranded Deep. New update, 7.5 Experimental, and this gives us what we have been so eagerly waiting for. Save slots, everybody. This is it right here. This is going to make it so much better for, for me personally, and I'm sure for, for you guys. But this is also really going to help uh, me ver bring a lot more content to you guys now that I can have a few games going and kind of cheat in one of them. Because I don't want to cheat in the main game that we have been playing with right now. We got a good 33 days going, and we did find the end game, even though that was a little cheeky. Um, but we did find it. As we can see, the cartographer is definitely the world that we started out with. Something went wrong there. That's more than likely my bad. I, I tend to be an idiot now and then. <laughs> but really quick, as you can see, we have a few notes here from Beam Team. If you do have an issue migrating your old save data to the new game, check this out. It's very, very helpful. But I didn't have any issues personally. Mine loaded right up. So hopefully you don't have any issues. Let them know if you do. And as you can see, we do have a few improvements, like the furniture, and then we also have a day X screen while we're loading in, which is pretty cool. And they took out the, uh, they call it the GTA style loading, um, but the top down loading from where it zooms in is no longer there, but we'll see that here in a minute. A lot of fixes as well, but let's jump in and see how it is. And there's our lovely day X, day 33 for us, and it jumps right in. So, no more of the zoom in, zoom out, right to where your player is. Oh, this feels a little different, too. Okay, so yeah, we did get our fire going, and the, uh, we're done here. It won't extinguish for some reason, but we are done here on the end game. This looks a little different, though. I feel like my mouse sensitivity is all weird. I haven't played in weeks, guys, and I have missed it. I gotta say, I've missed you guys as well. It's just, uh... This is actually really taking over. <laughs> I love uh, love recording and stuff now. It's a lot of fun doing the editing and everything. It's just really hard sometimes figuring out content for you guys. I want to make it interesting, but I guarantee now, oh my god, now with that lovely new save game, I'm going to have no issues bringing you guys everything I've wanted to show you for so long now. We're going to get our, uh, our little... What should I call it? <laughs> Our Olympic Games uh, ring set up very quickly in the next, uh, or in our new save game file, because I'm just gonna cheat. <laughs> I'm not gonna actually resource or anything. I'm just gonna drop the uh, resources directly into the game. That way we can just get it going, and I'll show you guys all my little tips and tricks. It goes a lot faster now. Alright, so now that it's kind of in frame, as you can see, we have another awesome Mega Hall ship right here on this island, straight across from the endgame scenario, and our home island is somewhere way in the distance over there. We're going to be making it back today, but since we're here, let's check out this awesome Mega Hall ship, big sea container ship, see if we can find a jerry can, hopefully two, because uh, one's not going to do it. We need one to build the actual fuel still and then we need another jerry can to transport that fuel so uh definitely gonna cross our fingers hope to the gods because we're not cheating i'm not gonna use the trick that i showed you guys if you don't remember all you gotta do is you grab the crates find the, all the crates you can on an island bring them back to your save point save your game before you ever open the crates and then once you open them if you don't like the loot save the game again, or uh, excuse me, uh, exit out of the game, reload your game, and then it'll re-randomize uh, all the items in those crates. So it is kind of a little cheeky way of getting around the uh, randomness of the game. It does take a little bit, but if you don't want to go into the command uh, control part of it and just drop in the items, that is another way you can do it. Wee! Yeah, that is big. As you can see, that is the uh, the bridge of the ship here, and all the way over there is the front. So, what what is it? The is it the stern or the bow? I can't remember. I'm not too much of a nautical person. I just know what most people know, thanks to good old television, right? <laughs> So what we got to do first here is we actually have to get our 
There we go. We actually have to get a water still going because my dumb butt did not bring enough water in any case. Oh, that was a nice landing. Um, to actually sustain ourselves here. So let's go ahead. Is this cooked? Yes, but I don't need it right now. Yeah, as you can see, <laughs> we need to find water. So let's get this water still up right away. Whoa! <laughs> you gotta love the physics in this game sometimes. <laughs> Okay, I think that's it right there. Drop that lashing, grab that. Yes, we have everything we need for a water still. I'm just going to go ahead and place it right here. I noticed this lovely yucca, as well as an awesome potato plant, so we're going to take that back too. Alright, doesn't need to be pretty, we just need to survive. And actually, I did bring these as well, so we'll just throw these in here and get some water going as soon as we can. Alright, how are stats doing actually? Let's see here. Woo-wee! Yeah, we are dehydrated. All right. Now we'll just go around. I'm going to pick everything up. I saw some lovely pee-pee. We got that potato plant. Oh, awesome. Plenty of cloth here. All right, yeah, I'm going to pick everything up, and uh, I'll see y'all in a minute. Oh, look at this guy. He's just kind of trapped in here. <laughs> I was wondering if there was any crabs or anything on this island. Probably wasting my durability. <laughs> killing that guy but oh excellent we got some water here so i think we're all set we didn't really have too much on this island of course small generally procedure rated island not too much on here but we do have that lovely sea container but there's no way i'm dragging that all the way back that would take forever and we'd have to do it one by one um so let's go ahead and check out this awesome sea container see if we get lucky with some jerry cans hopefully all right, yeah, water's gonna have to do. We're just gonna take a little bit of a coconut drink here. Lovely. Really need to start using that hot swap for the uh, the tools there. We have our belt, right? I'm pretty sure that we have at least one belt. Yeah. Let's see, one. Bam, yeah. So we'll try to use that as much as possible because I really hate opening up the backpack all the time. All right, we're not going to waste our meat, although it's probably going to go bad within the day. So we should have just enough time to check out this whole ship here. I'm not going to bring any spears or anything. I don't think we need to worry about uh, sharks since it's so... Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we don't have to worry about sharks, but we do have to worry about freaking poison starfish of doom. Oh man. Okay. We're not going to worry about that right now. Luckily, we do have some PP. Okay, I will definitely take that, though. The ration will do us good. I'm um, just going to check this out quickly. Because this isn't the Mega Hall ship. This is actually just another ship that's right there. Another ration. Okay, I'm going to take you, actually. Okay, we'll come back for you. Oh, awesome. Well, wait. Nope. You guys saw that, right? If you remember the last Mega Hall ship... We needed this guy right there. That air tank is definitely going to come in handy. Okay, here is the big boy. Now you can see this guy, he's pretty big, but he's not that big. Now there's a hammerhead here too. Wow. <laughs> Good thing he wasn't interested in us right away. Awesome, some boy balls. And we're going to use this platform once again. If I can get up. Oh, it's dreadful trying to see with this container. Put that away. Oh man, they really got to fix that. Uh, that is just not working at all. <laughs> Getting up on these little yellow things just doesn't work. All right, drop right into it here. So once again, the engine room, nothing really changes layout wise. So we should have one container right over here up on this. Yes, we do. Okay, a lantern, that's nice. Put that away. Okay, a spear, we don't need that. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, and that little save feature uh, that I was referring to earlier, that does also work. Okay, cool. We can get through here. Oh, no. There's another boat inside this boat. Wow. Well, that's bummer. I wonder if that's going to mess up the rest of it. Well, we're just going to have to see, huh? Awesome, some more rations. Okay, we're getting some good parts so far, and another air canister. I'm just going to go ahead and use these right now. Oh, don't get stuck. 
Now, if those doors do get in your way, oh, some lashing. I'll take the lashing. If those doors do get in your way, then uh, you can destroy them if they're messed up like this. You can always take this out and uh, destroy it. Let's let's go ahead. Bam! See, there it goes. All right. So nothing more in the engine room. Wow, another air tank. So much for being random, huh? Yeah, I think the ship is really going to mess us up here. We're not going to be able to get in through that other door. And this takes us out to the top here. Excellent. What do we got? What do we got? Nothing good. All right, well, we're out of inventory space. Got to go drop it off. And all of these, you know, uh, the whole bridge is re really where we find a lot of the goodies. Although we do find quite a bit below uh, deck as well the last spot we're going to be checking here today. Usually, there's about two to three crates down there. Uh, so I'm hoping that's going to be... Come on already! Someone help me out with that, please. A am I just being dumb? Is there an easier way to get up on those yellow things? Because that, that is just driving me insane. We got a lantern. That, that is the other thing that I saw that was pretty nice. But nothing too good so far. We're going to eat a ration. I know that we didn't need it for the food, but I do need it for the water, especially since we're uh, poisoned. Um, our health is, is going down right now. We're going to go and make our antidote as soon as as, uh, as I feel we really need to, but I just don't want to drop this right now. Run all the way over there and get an antidote just because I was dumb. <laughs> oh man, really nothing. Come on. Although the only thing that's going to be something to me right now is a jerry can, so <laughs> we're probably not going to get as lucky as I want. Okay, that is the entire above section. Might as well just drop all this off as well. Oh, nice, some spy glasses so I can lose another pair. <laughs> Honestly, I have no idea what happened to my last uh, pair of spy glasses that I just brought with us in the last episode. I didn't drop it on the on the floor or anything, at least I don't think so. And it wasn't in my inventory anymore. So who knows? Okay. Am I full again? My lord! See, I'm telling you, there is a lot of loot on these Mega Hull ships. It just gets to be a little annoying because you have to keep coming up for, <laughs> for more and more space here. Although what we should be doing here, and I'll do it this time, we should actually empty out one of these crates here and use it to transport more items. Okay, sweet. So now we have three empty crates. That'll help us transport a little bit more. Although we're going to have to do it underwater. Okay, wait, did I finish all of this? Yes, yes, this is with that crappy spear. We got to go the other way around. Now we finished this room right in here. As you can see, it's already getting dark once again, but I did bring that uh, flare gun because I definitely want to try that once again. It didn't work for us too well last time, but I think uh, I think Daniel, one of the uh, channel subscribers here, he had a great idea of shooting this off underwater. Let's try it, actually. Oh, man. Okay, maybe... Ooh, wait, it's getting a little brighter. I think I might have shot it a little too far, so it's probably outside the ship right now. That's a bummer. Yeah, I think it's out. I think it's down in <laughs> down in here somewhere. But yeah, it is getting way too dark, unfortunately. <laughs> I don't want to be out here in the dark with a shark. Ah! Get up, get up, get up. <laughs> all right. So, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and transfer all this back to the the island right there. We're going to go to sleep and I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, that just happened. <sighs> I can't believe that. Literally out of nowhere, I saw him go on the other side of that sea container, <laughs> decided to jump in the water to try to make it over, and oh my god, we are in trouble now. Now in hindsight, I actually got quite lucky there because he did not cause any bleeding. If we were bleeding right now, I would be starting a new game. <laughs> Because there's no way that we would survive. I mean, I have nothing to make a bandage. I have nothing to make a bandage. I have nothing to make a bandage.
And as you can see, we're a little worse for wear on everything as it is. We are very dehydrated. Luckily, <laughs> I think I might have just enough water in here to keep us from death. But we gotta get our water up. Alright, it is 6 o'clock in the morning. Lovely sunrise. And we didn't sleep at all because... We were dying, <laughs> but I got that all figured out. <laughs> we were able to get enough food and water throughout the night to get our health back up, so I don't have to have a mild heart attack going back over to that ship. <laughs> now, again, we're not going to take any spears, because uh, I'm trying to maximize my space, and we're just going to hope for the best. I know that's kind of stupid, ain't it? Oh my god, I can't believe I didn't get poisoned again this time. Alright. Luckily, it's not too far away, so we can kind of get away with it. Alright, how about these buoy balls? Maybe we should uh, try to put those on a raft, too. Or at least bring them with us, at the very least, of course. Oh, I'm so done with it. Alright, let's just chop these up. Alright, I'm going to forget about that stuff for right now. We're going to make our way to the front here. And hope we don't die. <laughs> grab these crates. We should have a few crates on the top. Oh, you know, I left all of my oxygen on shore. Oh, man. Wouldn't you know it. Okay, and here it is. Here's the other door that we want, but we do have a container right up top. Yeah. Just some, uh, just some scrap. That's okay. Uh, nothing over here. Sometimes we get a container. A wood container. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Alright, so we're gonna make our way into the depths of the ship and hope we find a few more. Otherwise, there's a nice gouge in the side of it that'll grant us access. Okay, it looks like we got tires. That's nice, but not what we want. Come on, aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man, see, it's just, it's bringing the same things. That's kind of a bummer. Yeah, so I don't know if we're gonna have any luck, guys. We have a uh, one more spot to check, and of course you're around right now, aren't you? You son of a... Alright, so we have one more- oh my- okay, it's a whale shark. Oh, we gotta watch out for these guys. This ship is a little too shallow, or a little too <laughs> shallow. It's a little too deep, so these sharks can actually kind of come where we're supposed to be going. Wait, what am I doing? Making it stronger with a hammer. I'm trying to break it down. There we go. Alright, we did clear all of this, so yeah. We have one more spot to check. Let me dump what we got. Man, with all this buoy ball scrap, we're going to be able to make, like, well, it looks like four more wings. Because it takes five each, which is kind of a bummer. But what are you going to do? All right, we got to get all of this organized so we can actually get some space out of it. This is just, it's everywhere, so it takes a little bit of time. I'm gonna leave those buoy balls for right now, and I'm just gonna drop these bad boys off. And same with the scrap. Just drop that. And we have some label makers, so we can uh, actually name the raft what it should be, the Bermuda. Um, that was a pretty cool contest. Thank you all for participating, those of you who did. Alright, I think we're good now. We got that. How's our... Oh, excellent. Life is looking great. Ooh, can we go up this? I've never tried. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Can't go up that. That would have been cool. Alright, so there there is some tires in here, so we can also make, you know, some additions to the raft, but I just, uh, I don't think we're gonna use them. We're not gonna utilize them right now, I don't think. I don't have, like, well, I do have enough lashing. Um, you know, maybe we can. I'll just, uh, yeah, I think I will. I think I'll go ahead and put those additions to the raft in for us as well, and then we'll make our way home. Oh, excellent. We got another door down here. Yes, this is to the cargo hold. So, oh no, wait. Oh no! Oh, crap! Oh, I wasn't paying attention! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Definitely bring those oxygen tanks with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, but we'll uh, we'll add those onto the raft on our way out here. Okay, we got a lionfish right there. Ooh, man, and an eel. Very dangerous. Okay. Oh, yes! Yes! Everybody! Two jerry cans! Oh, my God! Holy shit! Okay, we are... Huge smiles. Huge smiles right now. <laughs> 
Oh, okay. That just makes everything. That makes everything so much easier. Oh man, we are going to be able to build our fuel station and we are going to be able to transport fuel. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about, everybody. Okay, so I'm going to go back down. I'm going to get the rest. It looks like we'll have enough. Maybe we'll use the side here. I'll just show you guys. It's pretty cool. There it is. But little, little damage from Godzilla there. Man, we got so many barrels. You know what? We can't pass it up. We can't. That would be dumb, right? Wouldn't it be dumb for us to just, like, leave this area and not add to our raft? Look at all of this. It is a plethora of barrels. So I think uh, that is just something we got to do. All right. But it's going to take way too long for us to do it together. So I'm going to do that slightly off camera. <laughs> Uh, if you guys don't remember though, of course, you just bring a hammer with you, bring the lashing with you, um, and then you quick craft them down here, so where they're ghosted, and then you can bring them up to your raft. I'll just go ahead and show you guys, actually. But we gotta get the rest of this loot over to the island, and these sharks, they're circling. I'm not even bleeding, leave me alone. Okay, I think there's one more area as well. How are we looking in here? Wait, no, we grab this. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are looking good, guys. What is that? That looks like a container, doesn't it? All right, one more little bit of air here, and then we'll go back down into the depths. I think there is... Come on. I think there is one more crate that we didn't get because we were gasping for air. What is it? We got this into here. Boom, we grab, okay, no, we grab that, that's right, wow. You know, and that looks like an addition to the game, too. It looks like we, uh, we lose oxygen quicker by using the shift bar. I didn't grab a whole ox, a whole lung full there, come on. Yeah, there is one more area right in here. Oh, yeah, here it is, here's the hall. Nice. Okay, so if you haven't figured it out already... This is the Mega Hall ship for a reason, right? I mean, it is ridiculously big. Come on, buddy. Okay, we're not going to get that one right now. Run, 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 run. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Wow. My face went white. <laughs> Can you imagine? If I would have just died right there. Oh my god. Okay. Leave me alone, shark. Leave me alone. 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 I'm nice. I'm nice. I haven't hurt you. Don't make me get my spears. Okay, so we do have one more crate down there. We are going to grab it. I'm going to get all this stuff back. We're going to bring our raft over. And uh, we'll get going, guys. We'll get back home. Alright, so we brought the raft over and docked it next to the Mega Hall ship. This will make it so much quicker for us to be able to... What are you doing here? There we go. Grab our little hammer here, and it'll be so much easier just to be able to come over here and ghost it up to our ship. That way we don't have to try to fight to get those dang tires out. That's such a hassle. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is uh, I'm probably going to put the tires on the inside here. Hey, whale shark. And then we'll do the um, do the buoy balls to cap it off, I guess. You know what? We have those barrels down there, too. Let's make it look nice. All right. Knock those out. Barrel scrap. And then we'll just bring those over. Because I, I, I kind of want some symmetry to it. And I don't want the, the end to just be tire raft bases. That'll kind of be boring, don't you think? All right, excellent. Whew, I was kind of worried about the shark there for a second. So we'll put one here. Nice. Nice. That's looking cool. So I'm thinking we'll put the tire raft base in, in the, uh, the middle here. And that'll complete our fin. I decided to do buoy balls for the middle here just to kind of give it, you know, a little something else. <laughs> How's that looking, guys? Is that a little too gaudy or what? <laughs> All right, so what I'm actually thinking for this is we're going to add two more sails on each side, and then we can add two more storage racks, and then this is kind of going to be like our little fishing perch 
I'm not quite sure how much it's going to slow us down. We are weighted down a bit, as you can see, by all of these crates. I got them locked in with uh, these spears so they can't, you know, kind of, they can't come off the side or anything. Uh, so we'll definitely be able to make it back to our home island. I'm not going to put you guys through the uh, probably 15 minutes of sailing to get back there. <laughs> but uh, we will see you once we get back and we'll offload our, our stuff and uh, take a peek at our farming because I'm kind of getting worried about our farms there as well. Uh, we've been gone for, for a few days, almost three days, so I hope our water held out in those. And I know that we do still have some wrecks around here, we just don't have the time to check them out unfortunately. And we're so far away from our island that it's, uh, it's really hard to stay away for so long. Um, I do believe that there was one more crate somewhere in here that I just couldn't get. Let's just double check the area. Yes, this guy. And he had nothing too special, but a crate is a crate is a crate. So we're going to keep him. Doesn't look like anything else in here. All right. So I think that's it, guys. We're going to run over to our home island. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost like drowning but uh we'll make it back that's for sure you know we, we have some health issues but i'm gonna dig around in the crates and grab one of those rations get her health back up um but yeah <laughs> just thought I got, i'd show you how she works right now it's because we have so many crates on this ship but this thing is still very nimble very fast and uh once we have those other two sails up this thing is gonna be the bee's knees i'm telling you all right so we're gonna have to, I'm gonna grab my compass out, and uh, we're gonna head back. See, we came 240. Now let's look at navigation here. We came 240, so that means we need to go, let's see, boom, right, or I mean, I'm sorry, it was, uh, what was it? It was like 240, 250, I think it was. Yeah, it was west by southwest, so we need to head on a, a degree of 70, 70 to 80, once we pass our end game right now actually that's perfect looks like it if we line that up with 240 look at that so if we turn now since we came this direction 240 from our home island the entire way now we'll be able to go straight back on a course of 70 so I'll see you guys in a few minutes all right awesome home sweet home everyone here we go so i'm very curious to see if our farm survived us being gone for so long but man how about that mega hall guys like honestly that had to be the most i've gotten out of one trip um uh, those ships are impressive but that that was more than just a little impressive. So <laughs> we're gonna go through that stuff really quick, but let's check out our farm. Oh no, yucca, yucca's no good. Yucca's dead. Our potato, our potato is dead. Our cura is dead. Our, pot our other potato is dead. The yucca's dead. Oh my God, it's a massacre. <laughs> All right, well, that's cool. Luckily, you know, we have extras, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll be able to, to replant all these and uh, make sure we have a better, keep a better eye on them. <laughs> As you can see, though, everything died. What a bummer. How about some water? We could probably use some water. Oh, sweet nectar. Excellent. Okay. How are we doing? Like, we don't have any status effects, right? Yeah, excellent. All right, and if you guys are just joining us, this is our castle in the sky, which we are going to be completing here very soon, especially now that we have our fuel still. Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to be able to get our gyrocopter going. We'll put a little landing pad right up here, unless uh, I decide to do the little catwalk to the main house there. That's going to be super cool. I'm really loving the look of our castle in the sky here. What are you doing, buddy? Can he get us? I don't know if he can up on here. Sometimes he glitches through like that. See, now we don't even know where he is. Wow, that's interesting and really creepy sounding. <laughs> All 
All right, you can't. He doesn't know where we are, so we got the upper hand. Boom, buddy. Okay, but wow, guys, like so many freaking containers. Uh, how many in total here? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 containers from that one ship. Well, actually, no. We found three at the end game. But still, nine containers off of one ship. A lot of amazing loot, guys. Uh, the biggest of which is, of course, those awesome jerry cans, which are in here somewhere. Where are you? There you are. Two jerry cans. So we'll be able to use one to create our fuel still and one to actually transport the fuel from object to object because we gotta fill up the jerry can and then, uh, not object, from vehicle to vehicle and then we can take it over to one of either motor which more than likely, I don't think we're gonna need it for this this thing is fast as it is uh, we're gonna probably be using the majority of our fill for quick runs for the chopper to uh, go around the map and see what we have here but, I think that's going to do it for us today, guys. Let me know how you enjoyed this video down below. Hit that like button if it's worthy. And remember, we relate in the game, but better late than never. See y'all next time.